Welcome back everybody. In a previous video, I looked at several different exhaust inserts and tested their effectiveness at reducing the sound level of my straight pipe exhaust. Now in this video, I wanna take things one step further and I wanna show you how I built my own muffler. So I just wanna start off with a quick little preview here and you can see where this video is headed. And I wanna start the video by saying that of course, it would be much more economical to just go ahead and buy a muffler. However, I got limited space to work with in here with the side exit exhaust and I couldn't find anything that would fit. And you can see here that I'm using the space inside the wheel well. So saying that, I thought it would be a fun challenge to make my own muffler and something custom that fits perfectly in my space. So the first thing I had to do was I had to remove the wheel and wheel well liner to gain access to the inside of the wheel well to measure the space I have to work with for this project. And jumping right into it, you can see the two designs that I came up with that should work within this space. Now the design on the left is larger than the design on the right. The one on the right is very compact. And although they're a little bit different, they do share some common features. And so right away, some of the features that stand out are these delta plates. And both designs have these delta plates. And what I did was I went online and I looked at some cutaways of different muffler designs. So I looked at Flowmaster, Magnaflow, Borla, etc. And what I found with the Flowmaster designs is they have these delta plates, delta plates in some of their mufflers. And the idea or concept behind these plates is that exhaust frequencies and sound waves will enter through the inlet tubes. So I've highlighted, th highlighted those at the bottom. They'll enter the muffler into the first chamber and they'll be guided towards these delta plates in which the sound waves will get split. So the plates, these right angle plates, will split the sound waves and they'll be traveling on both sides of these plates and they'll bounce around in between the plates and the idea is to cause some sort of destructive interference where the sound waves will cancel each other out and there'll be, like I said, this noise cancellation so that once the sound waves exit through the last tubes here, the sound should be theoretically quieter than it was when it first entered. And so once I had a few basic designs, I wanted to use a flow simulator to optimize the muffler design. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to eliminate any points of flow stagnation within this muffler. Now on the screen, the mufflers probably look like they're of regular size, but in reality, they're very small. And the space that I'm working with is quite small. And for reference, these are three inch inlets and outlets. And you can see here that the muffler isn't much taller than three inches and it's not much wider than about five and a half inches and it's about six or seven inches long. So it's quite small. What I'll do is I will show you an animation of the flow trajectory of the exhaust and the colors are indicating the exhaust velocity. And you can see when the exhaust first enters the small muffler, it gets split as I mentioned earlier. And as it passes through these plates in this section here, it's a little bit of a restriction. And you can see that because of this restriction, the exhaust flow is sped up. The velocity increases at the outlet. And with the larger muffler, you'll see similar results with a few extra points of stagnation in the first and third chambers. And so I was happy with the design, but this did not come without going through a few design iterations first. So what you see in front of you here are two cutaway plots of the larger of the two mufflers. On the left-hand side, you can see the velocity plot, and on the right-hand side, you can see the pressure plot. So this is the first design that I came up with for the larger of the two mufflers, and right away you can notice in the bottom right-hand corner, I have a square corner, I have in the middle here, I have a tube on the first divider plate that would be welded to this plate. And I also have, it's a little less noticeable, but different spacing in between all of these delta plates. And you can see down in the corners and around this uh, first entry tube, there are these look, what look like eddy currents. So this is to me a stagnant area of flow. And you can see on the right hand side that the orange is indicating quite a high pressure. And so moving on to the next design, I added a chamfer into the bottom right hand corner, trying to guide the flow in through the first plate. I still have the tube welded to the first divider plate, so I still have these areas of stagnant flow. 
but you can see that I increased the velocity slightly as well as decreasing the pressure slightly. And in the third design, I got rid of that pipe, that tube that was welded to the first divider plate, allowing the flow to pass directly straight through uh, without getting stuck in the corners nearly as much. So again, I increased velocity a little bit more and decreased pressure. And in the fourth design, it's a little less noticeable, but I basically shifted the plates around again ever so slightly, just trying to optimize the velocity and the pressure. And this is the point where I was at least happy with this, the design. There are still some issues in these corners up the top near the exit where the flow sort of stagnates and slows down. However, for ease of manufacturing and welding, the square corner was a lot easier for me to fabricate. So I kept those in there and I thought the results were acceptable. So full disclosure, this is not my area of expertise and a properly professionally engineered muffler will take into consideration the sizes of these chambers and the positions of these plates in order to cancel out unwanted frequencies. And so in my case, I am, as I mentioned earlier, pretty much imitating what I see online in terms of cutaways from these professionally designed mufflers. However, I'm not doing the math and I don't have the resources to figure out exactly the patterns of how the frequencies are gonna be bouncing around in there in order to cancel out certain unwanted frequencies. What I'm shooting for here is just optimized flow, reduced pressure, and then just a general overall decrease in sound intensity level. So with the design of the two mufflers completed, I had all of the pieces laser cut from 18 gauge stainless steel, and it's time to bend these things accordingly. As you guys can see, I'm using a finger press brake to bend the metal for this project. I actually built this finger press brake myself and I made a video to show you guys how to build your own. If you're interested in seeing that, check out the card in the top right hand corner of the screen or check out my channel. Now as you can see, I have the parts for the small muffler laid out here in front of me. And basically it's just the one part here is the box. We got a lid. We have one of the dividers for the first chamber. We got the deflector here, you can see the 45 degree bends, and you can see the two delta plates, as I like to call them. And so I'm gonna fit them all in this box, and we're gonna get welding and get this thing turned into one solid muffler. After welding up the small muffler, I'm using my dimensionally correct pizza box muffler to finalize the placement inside my wheel well. So now with the test pipe out of the car, you can see that I've marked the cut line and I've marked an orientation line. And this lines up with the center of our inlet on our pizza box muffler, which will translate to the actual stainless steel muffler. And so I'm gonna be cutting here and we're gonna be welding our little mini muffler onto this test pipe. So with the small muffler fully installed, I'm gonna be running the exact same test setup as I did in a previous video where I tested the exhaust inserts on the same car. So I have my sound level meter set up eight feet away from the exhaust pipe at a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna also have a pressure gauge installed to measure back pressure. And so we're gonna be testing at idle, 2000 RPM and 4000 RPM.
right when I started the car, I noticed a big difference in sound. But let's take a look at the results and see what they say. So the blue line here is the straight pipe exhaust that we tested in a previous video, and the pink line is the exhaust with the small muffler installed. And right across the whole uh, test, you can see pretty much a 10 decibel reduction at every level. So idle, 2000 RPM and 4000 RPM, even a little bit more at idle. And you gotta remember this is measured in decibels, so this is on a log scale. So that's quite a bit of a difference in sound. Overall, I'm really pleased. Let's take this thing out and see what it sounds like on the road. So I'm definitely happy with the way this thing sounds. It makes the car a lot more bearable to drive, although it is still pretty loud. Now I didn't get the chance to try out the larger of the two mufflers, and I probably won't get that opportunity until next season. It's winter here now, but thanks for watching guys, and if you guys like this video, be sure to check out my channel and some of my other videos.